So you may have seen a giant helicopter flying through our skies at some point. It's most likely one of the Chinook 47 helicopters. They're stationed at the Army Aviation Support Facility in Mount Joy. TV 6's Larry Goodwin just happens to be part of the Army National Guard unit that flies those birds, and he has an up-close and personal look for us right now, Larry. Thanks, Owen Redrick. The Chinook 47 cargo helicopter has been a vital part of the U.S. military operations since the Vietnam era. During my annual training, I had the opportunity to catch up with some of the experts on the CH-47. One of those just happens to be a man who has been flying on this workhorse for 27 years. Sergeant Major Lane Marty. Well, the CH-47F is the newest, uh, newest version of the Chinook. Uh, which has been in the Army since the early 1960s. An airframe that has been utilized for over 60 years. Age is no factor when it comes to the abilities of the CH-47. This aircraft is so powerful. Uh, it can handle um, you know, all kinds of terrain, all kinds of environments, uh, and, and do exactly what it's capable, its capabilities uh, at altitude. In the mountains, uh, they use these for mountain rescue, high altitude mountain rescue. With decades of history behind the Chinook, the current generation of mechanics are just as impressed with the aircraft. The capabilities, um, you know, it's, it's a big aircraft and it can, it can house the most troops, but it is also one of the most maneuverable. Um, it can really do some incredible things. And just how much it can, it can move. It can move up to 50,000 pounds, max gross weight, and just haul, and it'll do it consistently. The CH-47 holds over 6,000 pounds of fuel in its main tanks. Refueling the aircraft takes a team effort and is vital to aircraft operations typically takes about two to three soldiers. So when it's hot fuel, we have a soldier hooking up, then we have the second soldier with the fire extinguisher, and then the third soldier is managing the fuel farm. The proficiency of the aircraft is endless. Chief Warrant Officer 2 Carson Smith shares just a few of the missions the Chinook is capable of. Anywhere from cargo to air assaults to troop movements, uh, medevacs, surgical resuscitation teams, we can do search and rescue. I mean, you name it, we can do it. The CH-47 has multiple different parts and components moving at high rates of speed and torque during operation. Scheduled phase maintenance plays an essential role in keeping this aircraft mission ready. Every 320 uh, flight hours, uh, the aircraft is taken apart. Uh, we take most of the major systems off. Uh, the rotor heads, the engines will come off. The majority of the inspections are, uh, are service related, uh, changing filters, um, and in general just getting eyes on the airframe, on in-depth parts of the airframe that don't get looked at on a daily basis. Sergeant Major Lane Marty has been maintaining this aircraft for 27 years, but says he still learns something new about it every day. I'm still challenged uh, when I work on it. It's a challenge, which makes it enjoyable. Uh, it's never uh, wake up, come to work, do the same old, same old. I don't, that's not the way it is here. This aircraft could also be used as a refueler for other Army aircraft and vehicles. Three separate fuel tanks could be installed in the aircraft internally for an extra 3,000 gallons of fuel. Paula? Very interesting, Larry. Thank you for that. Now, the CH-47 Fox model came to Davenport in 2014 and is worth over $30 million.